A blade embraces its duty. As a jeweler. Let's get down to business. the creeps. Who knows what we're gonna find up ahead? The digging marks here appear amateur. And rather old. I suspect it is a thieves' tunnel. A thieves' tunnel? Hmm. Paimon has heard rumors about treasure around these parts before. Maybe it was the treasure hoarders that dug this tunnel. Judging by the tools they left behind, it's certainly a possibility. But why did they abandon this place without even stopping to pack up their tools? Ah, I remember now. She took me here once and told me that she'd found a way to save me in this cave. But she... Uh, she said that the method would cause me to... Uh, uh, <laughs> Easy, Jia Liang. Come on. Mind the side effects. Look at Gather! I will have order! Take flight! Everybody stand back! Let's light it up! The doctor was seen. Whoa, there's a sensor here. Those treasure hoarders sure made themselves at home. I believe this sensor was used to burn a monster repelling incense. A monster repelling incense? Are uh, you sure? Because we did run into that group of monsters just now. The incense was burned several days ago. If I had to guess, the monsters we fought just now were enticed here by some entity deeper inside the cave. No doubt an encounter with the very same entity was what prompted the treasure hoarders to flee and abandon their designs on this cave. After them, Jiang Li was the next person to discover this place and what lies inside. But to her, it presented an opportunity to save Jia Liang's life, albeit as a last resort. That's right. This sensor. It belongs to Jiang Li. Yes, this was the place. This is where I told Jiang Li to give me the poison. Jia <coughs> Liang! I'm fine. Let's keep going. I can feel it. She. We're getting close. We're almost there. It's right up ahead. The place where we made a pact together to... <sighs> Aha! We can keep going now! From the looks of it, the energy released by this mechanism can not only clear barriers, but also be Perhaps it's something we can make use of.
solidified. Scatter. Good luck. Order guide you. Coming down to art. Sumetsu. Taking a turn for the better. Look out! Uh, there's a monster next to her! The god remains must have lured them here. Watch my back. I will have order. Mind the side effects. The doctor will see you. Yeah. Defract! Seems like an emergency. Dr. Baiju, how serious is it? Is she... I can still feel a pulse, but her condition is quite grave. The god remains here are encroaching on her cognition, much as the poison in your system did to you. If we don't eliminate it soon, then even if we save her life, I fear that she may never wake up again. Then, uh, what are we waiting for? Let's destroy the remains right away! It's not as simple as that. Don't you remember what Baiju said? The poison within Jialiang's body is inextricably linked to the god remains here. If the source is purged, the poison in his system will stop having any effect. Uh, and the poison within Jialiang's body is keeping his heart condition under control. So, if it stops working... Oh no. Right? Indeed. If the god remains here are purged, then your life will come to an end. <sighs> I wondered when this day might come. Wait, wait, wait! But we've all been working our butts off to save Jialiang's life! After all that, Baiju, you're a great doctor! 
Father, surely you gotta know of some other way we can save her. You could continue to take the poison, which would buy you some time. As for Jiang Li... It appears to me that she was striving to concoct your medicine for you. Right up until the moment when she lost consciousness. Dr. Baiju, give it to me straight. How long does Jiang Li have- The god remains have reached her internal organs. Under ordinary circumstances, I would give her less than three days. But, but what would be- Dr. Baiju, I'm all too aware of the dangers of god remains. If I continue to sustain my own life using this wretched substance, not only would Jiang Li have to keep risking her life to make my medicine for me, oh, but I would have to live with the looming threat of these remains breaking out and wreaking havoc not just upon me. I know for a fact that I should have died over a decade ago. The fact that I've been around to see how you grow up is already a great blessing from Rex Lapis. If my choice can bring Jiang Li back, then even if I, uh... uh Jia Liang. <laughs> After cheating death for so long, it seems I've grown. Oh. Traveler, Dr. Baiju, could I have another minute with my wife? I just want to have one final moment together. Of course. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry that I won't be able to repay your kindness in this life. <laughs> I am sure that over the years, Jiang Li will have tried all the conventional methods known to humankind. As for less conventional methods, I have little expertise besides Chang Sheng's secret art. Mortals are fated to grow old and pass on when their natural lifespan runs out. If it were so easy to combat the natural processes of aging and death, Jiang Li would not have had to resort to unnatural methods. What a crazy situation! Jiang Li risked it all to save Jia Liang's life, and now Jia Liang has to sacrifice- I've seen many final farewells in my time, but I can never get used to it. In the human realm, all things must come to an end. Is it not a fitting end to die for a worthy cause? At least, that's what generations of masters... The path they chose was indeed a heroic one. But when I think of those who would willingly sacrifice themselves for others, I cannot help but think that theirs are the lives least deserving of death. When all this began, we agreed that once Ayu was old enough to help you gather herbs... <laughs> if you could only see him now... He took me all the way to Liyue. <laughs> so, I know that you'll both be okay. <clears throat> I've said my goodbyes. My time has come. As you wish. away at both your cognition and your memories in the end i'll take it at the very least it will allow me to stop <laughs> mom something's really wrong with dad don't fret ayu i will gather some medicinal herbs right away <clears throat> why would these memories come to mind now <sighs> The longer we live, the tighter we cl Oh, how I would love to hear, to hear. Jaliang. Jali Jaliang! Jaliang! Dad! Are you awake? Uh... Jiang Li... Are you? Didn't I... 
Huh? What are... the... How does it feel to come back to life? Do you feel strange or different in any way? If so, could you... Dr. Baishu, I... I thought that I was going to... <laughs> Die? You did indeed. As things stand now, you're more akin to a zombie than a human. I'm a zombie? That's right. Before we set off, I asked Chi-Chi to prepare an elixir of immortality. With its help, you have been suspended in the space between life and death. Of course, this is but a crude imitation of an adeptus art. I don't expect it to extend your life indefinitely. Whether it will keep you alive for a few days, a few months, or a few years, I am as interested as you to find out. But, however long you have left, I believe it should be more than sufficient time for you to say your final goodbyes before departing the world in peace. I hope that Director Who finds this arrangement to be a satisfactory one. An elixir of immortality? How'd you cook that up? Ugh. Leave it to you to work on something like that behind my back. It's a work in progress that hardly lives up to its name, and it would have had no effect were it not for Jia Liang's iron will. In the end, I am merely a doctor. I understand very little of the great principles governing life and death and the perpetual cycle of yin and yang. All I know is that if I'm presented with a life that deserves to be saved, I will do everything in my power to... And even this would have counted for nothing without Director Hu's assistance. After all, did you not tell Jia Liang to show us the way... Oops! And... I without Director Hu nudging things in the right direction, we may not have found Jiang Li in time. No wonder he didn't mention the elixir back then. <laughs> I thought he was being frank and transparent. <clears throat> <laughs> Director Hu told me to keep her suggestion a secret. <laughs> Never underestimate a serpent. <sighs> All I wanted was to help Jia Liang find his missing wife as soon as possible so that he could be on his way to the afterlife without any unfulfilled wishes making the journey more difficult than it needs to be. Leave it to Boo Boo Pharmacy to snatch the perfect opportunity right out of my hands at the last hurdle. Never mind. One Chi Chi was enough of a conundrum. The last thing I need is another one. If I'd known this was coming, I'd have whisked him off to the Wangsheng funeral. You stay away from my dad! When I grow up, I'm gonna become an even better doctor than Mom and Baiju! And cure dad for- uh, uh. Oh, is that right? Well, you wouldn't be the first person who's tried to put Wangsheng Funeral Parlor out of business. Traveler, Paimon, I'll catch you all another time. Oh, is she finally- All's well that ends well. If you ask Paimon, we should probably do something to celebrate this hard-earned- <laughs> At times like this, a grand celebratory feast- <laughs> it feels like it was a whole lifetime ago when I last talked with Jiang Li and Ayu around the dinner table. Yay! Paimon can't wait! Alright, first things first, off to the market for some fresh ingredients. Let's go! Wait up! I'll come too! Baiju, thank you so, so much for everything you've done for us. Don't mention it, Jiang Li. I was just doing my duty. Just your duty, huh? Baiju, Changsheng, would you mind if we took this conversation outside? <laughs>